Happy Wednesday, everybody, and good morning to you. Thank you for joining me once again for this pre-recorded devotion. Uh, this morning, as um, Lord willing, we are traveling home uh, this afternoon, myself and my son Reagan from the UPCI General Conference, uh, leaving this afternoon there. So uh, hopefully uh, you are able to join us this morning for this uh, time of devotion together. Even though I'm not able to interact with you uh, live, we do have many things to pray about this morning. Um, and I'll mention just the general categories and ask you to uh, once again carry the load today of, of submitting specific requests and going back to the previous devotions uh, to look at requests that may still be uh, active needs uh, to pray about today. And we do have much, much, much to pray about. Um, I do ask you to remember this family, uh, Kaylee's family, uh, having uh, lost a loved one to suicide um, this past weekend. This is Gracie's friend in Texas, Kaylee, uh, and her brother was the one who, um, who committed suicide. So this family is uh, so broken right now and really needs the Lord's help. We have many unspoken requests to continue praying about. Uh, we have children on our list who uh, need miracles in their body. Uh, we're praying for those uh, who suffer from many different types of diseases and illnesses and believing God uh, to heal everything from headaches to cancer. All of it um, is important to him if it has to do with our health and well-being. And so today we can turn to him and know that he will hear and he will answer the prayers of his people today. So let's keep all these needs in mind. Let's pray for continued recovery for those who have had uh, health setbacks and uh, long-term illnesses. Um, let's pray for those who are in nursing homes, uh, those uh, who serve in our military. Uh, be praying over the remainder of our general conference this week that God's blessing will be upon all the uh, church services. Pray for our global missionaries as their uh, special night is tonight, their uh, service um, that focuses on their missions will be this evening, believing for miracle uh, offerings uh, to come in, both those um, who are in the, in the uh, convention center and those watching online, no doubt will be giving to uh, the cause of advancing the kingdom of God around the globe. So let's pray specifically for those missionaries, and many of them um, will be uh, flying back home after the conference, back to their uh, fields of labor. So pray for God's protection upon each of them. Uh, let's keep lifting up those who are suffering persecution uh, and pray for an end to the war in Ukraine. Uh, we need to pray for all the spiritual and family needs that are ongoing um, on our list and many, many names there that we have been praying for, and we do not want to forget to take them before the Lord once again in prayer today. I'm reading to you from Psalm 81, Psalm 81. I'm going to read the entire psalm, um, as you might be able to reflect on it and get several different things out of it for your own personal devotion, but I will be um, really focusing on just a couple of verses in verses 10 and 11 today. But let's read the whole psalm, uh, reading from the King James Version again this morning. This is a psalm of Asaph. It says, Sing aloud unto God our strength. Make a joyful noise unto the God of Jacob. Take the psalm and bring hither the timbrel, the pleasant harp with the psaltery. Blow up the trumpet in the new moon, in the time appointed on our solemn feast day, for this was a statute for Israel and a law of the God of Jacob. This he ordained in Joseph for a testimony when he went out through the land of Egypt. Where I heard a language that I understood not, I removed his shoulder from the burden. His hands were delivered from the pots. Thou callest in trouble, and I delivered thee. I answered thee in the secret place. I proved thee at the waters of Meribah, Salah. Hear, O my people, and I will testify unto thee, O Israel, if thou wilt hearken unto me. There shall no strange God be in thee, neither shalt thou worship any strange God. I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. 
Open thy mouth wide, and I will fill it. But my people would not hearken to my voice, and Israel would none of me. So I gave them up unto their own heart's lust, and they walked in their own counsels. Oh, that my people had hearkened unto me, and Israel had walked in my ways. I should soon have subdued their enemies and turned my hand against their adversaries. The haters of the Lord should have submitted themselves unto him, but their time should have endured forever. He should have fed them also with the finest of wheat and with honey out of the rock, should I have satisfied thee. I want to focus in on, on uh, verse 10 and the message that comes from verse 11 as well this morning. When we were babies, all we had to do was sit still long enough with open mouths and our parents would put the food we needed where it belonged. If we tried to jump out of our seats or we wiggled too much, they pursued us until we had enough food. They gave us everything we needed. That is the heart of a good parent to make sure the child's needs are met and that he or she is healthy and well-fed. In verse 10, the Lord encourages us to let him fulfill our needs. He said, I am the Lord your God who brought you up out of Egypt. Open, my, open wide your mouth and I will Fill it. He is reminding us that he was the one who did all the miracles for the children of Abraham. He wants us to know that he is still the same God. He is just as willing to meet your needs and my needs as he was when this psalm was written thousands of years ago. It's easy for folks to choose not to listen to God's promises. Verse 11 says, but my people would not listen to me. Israel would not submit to me. God longs for us to know that when we trust him, we will be fed with the finest, with wheat and honey, and will truly be satisfied. The God who created us knows exactly what we need and exactly what will satisfy our heart and our soul. We need only to open up our life to him and allow him to feed us. And I wonder today, what would it look like if each and every one of us truly allowed God to meet our needs, needs of peace, security, hope, joy, love, acceptance, all of those needs can be met and God desires to meet those needs for us. But we must not allow ourselves to seek for those needs to be met in others. Sometimes those situations are not healthy situations for us. We need to ask our Heavenly Father to show us what it would look like for Him to meet those needs, to depend upon Him for love, acceptance, joy, security, hope, and peace, and not look for it in the things of this world. This is especially the burden of my heart for young people because they, they get on the wrong track so quickly. And when they begin to seek to fill these needs in other places it grieves the heart of God and then it leads them into great bondage that's very hard for them to come back from but our God today looks at each of us as his little children and he's just saying to us sit still long enough for me to put the spoon in your mouth sit still long enough stop your wiggling and squirming and let me meet your needs oh I pray that God would help us to grow up in him today to realize that we can depend upon him and we need not look anywhere else today for our needs to be supplied. Those resources that we depend upon uh, in this earthly sphere, they will ultimately disappoint, but God will satisfy every need and longing of the heart today. Let's turn to him once again. Let's believe for him to do just that. Not only for us, I think that if you're part of this prayer gathering today, you're probably on the right track, but think of those today who God is desiring to feed, but they're not, not cooperating, and pray that God would settle their spirits, that God would help them to receive everything that he has for them today. Lord, we thank you for this day that you've given us. I thank you for our prayer partners today that are praying alongside me, and I believe today that you're going to hear these prayers and that you have been waiting, Lord, to hear the voice of your people this morning and we come to you today with confidence knowing Lord that you care about every single thing that's on our hearts today 
and you have nourishment, God. You have uh, the bread of life for us today to adjust once again, Lord, to, to truly let our needs be met uh, from your divine resources today. Hallelujah. You are able to do absolutely anything far above what we can ask or even think what we could ever hope or imagine, God, you are able to exceed all of these things. Help us to realize today, God, that you're there for us. You're our healer today. On the spoon that you put in our mouths today, God, you are giving us healing. You are giving us deliverance. You're giving us hope today. Hallelujah. You're giving us strength for the journey ahead. Help me, God, to open my mouth today and allow you to fill it with your grace hallelujah let your will be done through these prayers we receive your healing today hallelujah we declare your healing and your hope today for each one on our prayer list hallelujah so many depending on us today to lift up their families those who are grieving loss right now god be with them those who are facing untenable circumstances right now god you are their relief and you are their rescue right now Move into those situations, we pray. Move into every home right now. Hallelujah. Move into every void in the heart that people are tempted to fill with the things of this world. Break the chains of bondage and addiction today in the name of Jesus. We receive these things by faith, and we believe today, God, that afflictions are being lifted, that healings and miracles are being dispensed, God, Hallelujah, by your grace today that is sufficient for every need. Hallelujah, you're supplying the needs right now. You're drawing hearts to you. You're strengthening someone's faith right now, Lord, that's weak today and that's questioning. Hallelujah, you'll help them, God, to depend upon you once again. We lay all these needs at your feet, and we give you the praise and the glory, Lord, that we don't have to carry them any longer. But, Lord, that you've got this today for us. Hallelujah. We thank you. We praise you. We accept your answers today. You are so wonderful. Your name is great and greatly to be praised. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, we love you, Father. We honor your name. We glorify your name, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time and forevermore. You are worthy of it all, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Sweet presence of God this morning that is with us. God bless you. Have a wonderful day in the Lord. Make sure you share your praise reports and your needs with the rest of the team by commenting on the post today. Share the video with someone who might need to hear it this morning, whoever God places on your heart, and uh, let them be blessed as well. But God bless you in Jesus' name. I'll be back tomorrow. Lord willing, for live prayer and devotion right here at 7.30 a.m., I pray that you will be able to be a part of that. God bless you in Jesus' name.